How's it going, Reef Keepers? So the uh, tank lights are just barely coming on for the day. Um, I had like a weird break from work this morning. Um, I'm heading back in a while, but uh, I figured I would make this quick video because I actually have a new wrasse, uh, a Melanaris wrasse that is acclimating to the tank right now. It's in this acclimation box right here with this like quote unquote bathtub of uh, like mini mini bathtub full of um, full of just basic uh, sand. And you can actually see her sleeping. Her head is right there. And that's her tail. She's like, <clears throat> so it was much higher. It was like almost to the top. And she flopped around in there like at various times throughout the night and, and scattered the sand everywhere. It fell on everything down below. And she, but she's sleeping like the sand is like a blanket. <laughs> like that's what she's using it for. That's her head on one side and her tail on the other side. And I can see her breathing. And she's just chilling, waiting for the lights to come up with like a little sand blanket over herself, which is crazy to me. But anyway, um, if you look on like the forums or you look on, um, you look on Facebook or whatever, you ask the question somewhere, there are so many people who say all kinds of things about um, RAS and acclimating them. Here's what happened to me and why I did it this way. Um, I had that redlined RAS you guys saw a few videos ago. Uh, I got a, a beautiful redlined RAS and it had some like what looks like its beak was like wearing down um, and like white was showing through, like the flesh was being stripped off of its beak and it was just a little like unsteady, right? Um, I didn't acclimate it in the bucket like with salinity for very long, maybe only like 10 minutes. But the more I read about it, the more I realized I should probably just put it straight in the tank because wrasse are kind of, kind of finicky to begin with. And that water, once, it's a, it, once you open up the bag and expose that origin water, to the air, uh, it can build up toxicity. And if you're not, you know, swapping it out quickly enough um, with your own water, then problems can arise. So I don't know if I perhaps weakened that redlined wrasse. Um, it was beautiful, but the beak showed a little bit of damage, I think, or at least wear. And then I think I additionally kind of destabilized it. And anyway, I ended up putting it in the acclimation box and it was in the acclimation box for like a few hours and it looked to just kind of be like lackadaisically floating around, like not really with it. And it looked like its beak was bothering it. And so I was like, all right, you know what? I need to get this thing like out into the tank. Um, it wasn't eating pellets that I would drop in there, you know, and that's quick for a fish to eat pellets, but <clears throat> just, I got paranoid and I let it into the tank too quickly. And what happened was it dove down and dove into some of this deeper sand back in here. And I saw it kind of just like edge itself into the sand and it was fine. I could see it breathing much like I can see her breathing right here right now. And I was like, okay, um, she's good. Well, not because the next morning I found her, you know, half eaten body floating around the tank you know, all mangled up, you know, Nasarius snails all over it. And I suspect, you know, she had kind of like worked her way back in here under the rock and, and kind of, she kept scooting underneath the sand. I suspect that something was curious about her and was, you know, poking her or she got spooked or something. And she must have like shot out and in the dark and in her fear, she must have smashed herself up on the rocks. Um, I know for a fact, I have no, um, what are they called? Uh, those horrible worms that eat fish that go in your tanks. Um, I had one one time when I first started in the hobby. I'll have to post pictures of that at some point, but, uh, it wasn't one of those. It wasn't a, I can't remember the name of those, but, um, it, it certainly looked like head damage had been sustained. And I think she was already kind of, you know, weird, and it just, that was it. Um, so it was really unfortunate. It's a, a total waste of money. Um, and I should have probably just done this and kept her, kept her in here and trusted that like an acclimation box is there for a reason. You know, 
it, the other fish get used to the fish, the fish gets used to its surroundings, the fish gets used to the day-night cycles of the tank, um, the kind of food that it'll be fed. Like, there's just all kinds of reasons why an acclimation box is so important. And this little wrasse, like, making herself all comfortable like this, it's like she's sleeping in a little bed. It's just so wild to me. Um, it's such a better experience. By the way, she's eating like a pig. Every pellet that I put in here, she's, she goes right to the surface and snaps them all up. Um, it's just a totally different deal. So anyway, uh, acclimating a ras, my, my suggestion, get a nice, you know, decent sized acclimation box, get a little Tupperware container full of sand, put it in there. I have a magnet supporting it from the bottom. So, you know, just a spare magnet. Um, and then just leave them, you know, just leave them, feed them several times a day so they don't go hungry. Rats need to eat pretty regularly and just leave them. Um, let the other fish get used to them. I, I plan to leave her as long as I'm comfortable with like, you know, I don't know, a week, 10 days, something like that. And then my plan is to hang a mirror on the end of the, this end of the tank and let the other, let the, let the tangs, which are the, the tangs are not very smart and they're very aggressive. I will let the tangs thrash themselves against that, you know, mirror beyond the glass and hopefully ignore um, this girl once I put her in there. But uh, I wish she would come out of the sand while I was filming. Uh, she's moved around this morning in the sand um, and I think she's getting ready to come out. And I kind of wanted to be able to film her coming out as the lights ramp up, but. Uh, Hopefully I'll get that another time. Anyway, super excited for this fish. Um, really pumped about it and uh, hope you guys are you know, doing well and having a good week. And if you're enjoying these videos, like and subscribe. I'll have more on the RAS soon um, and more on tons of stuff soon. I got tons of topics. So, um, all right, take it easy, everybody.